are men allowed to have an opinion on abortion? Because apparently this guy on TikTok doesn't think so. Until a baby comes out of a man's body, an opinion on abortion shouldn't come out of his mouth. The irony on that video is just too much for me, and the sad fact is he's not the first guy to say something like this. They'll proclaim, men shouldn't have an opinion on abortion, these white knights come in. It's up to the woman, and men should stay silent, and that is what I am going to declare as a man. Like, they're just so oblivious, I don't get it. But at the same time, this is not an uncommon narrative among men or women women. Um, whenever I enter this conversation, especially on TikTok, um, there will be numerous comments saying, you're a man. You can't speak on these things. It's up to the woman to decide what she does with her body. I want to be clear and I, I, I don't want to be come off as like too bombastic or, or insensitive about this topic because I realize this is a sensitive topic. A lot of people are impacted by by abortion and maybe you, you have been in your life and if if that's something if you've had an abortion and you are feeling a sense of deep regret or you don't know where to go from here i i don't want you to listen to the people in your life that are telling you that it's not a big deal because it is a big deal it matters what happened was traumatic so i want you to feel free to get help find counseling uh be in a community of people that can help help you work through that because it is terrible right and the sad fact around this conversation is that that people are just spouting off this idea that it's the woman's body and, and so they're trying to convince other like mothers that are pregnant it's, it's just your body it, it, it's no big deal go have an abortion you won't feel anything about it it is a different human being this is not even a debate at this point um, the probability is that it has a different blood type than the mother it is not the mother um, it feels pain separately from the mother and it is its own person made with value and worth god created each one of us from the moment of conception on made with value and with intrinsic worth and dignity and it's so sad when people um think that it's just oh it's just a clump of cells but then i ask would you have an abortion they say no no I, I i wouldn't why wouldn't you if it's just a clump of cells you had an abortion no but my aunt has she would has you have one um if i had no choice absolutely no choice i would but so why would you hesitate though I'm not hesitating. I'm nobody. Nobody likes abortions. But nope. sometimes, There's sometimes, um, there are hard, harsh circumstances when women women are shamed for even considering the option. But so many people are aware of the fact that it is more than a clump of cells. This is the crux of the issue. Is it a baby in the womb? Because if it is a baby, then it's worthy of protecting, and it is value, and it has worth, and it is intrinsic dignity. But if it's not then what does it matter? Why would it matter if somebody gets an abortion? And I think that is the biggest issue. Unfortunately now, the new narrative is that, oh, it may even be a baby, but the mother still has a right to kill the child. How horrific is that? But that's exactly what happens when you abandon the biblical worldview. When you abandon God's standard for morality, his objective standard, then all of a sudden murdering people um, is okay because they're dependent on other people. Try to apply that logic to old folks, right? They're dependent on people. They need medication. They need care. But that doesn't mean that they don't have dignity or worth. No, it just means that they need help from someone. The same with a little baby. Sure, they're dependent on the mother. But that doesn't take away their worth or dignity. I think it's a tragic thing when people's opinions are shut down just because of their gender. I don't think that's a good or healthy thing to be doing. If you're like, you cannot speak on this because you are this race or this gender. No, that's so messed up. That means that you actually are scared of, of other people's arguments if you're not willing to let them speak. And men do have something to say about this, and they do have a right to speak about this. It breaks my heart when I see women that are coerced by their boyfriends or fathers to get abortions. That's terrible. And it's also equally as sad when men step forward when the pregnancy happens and they want to take responsibility and they want to be a father and they want to take care of the mother and the child, and yet the mother goes ahead and kills the child against his wishes. I think that's so sad. I mean, I, I just feel for you, if you're in that situation that you're watching right now, I just I just wanna encourage you with this. God has your little child in heaven and Jesus is more than ready to forgive you. Um, we've all sinned, we've all fallen short of God's standard against him. 
And I think the key is here is recognizing our own sin, is humbling ourselves before God and saying, God, I need your help. I've, I've really screwed up here. And can you forgive me? And I think when we do that, God begins a healing process within us. And um, it's a process that could take years. It could take your whole life. Um, but it's something that we're invited into by God's grace. He's inviting us into peace and rest and forgiveness. Just one encouragement out there for you folks that are in environments that are very hostile to the pro-life perspective, um, especially within universities, it's seen as bigoted or um, like anti-woman and sexist and all these sorts of accusations that just aren't true. Especially because you're speaking up for the woman in the womb, the little woman in the womb, the little boy in the womb. That is the most courageous thing that you could do. So I don't want you to feel like like you're doing something wrong because people try to make you feel like you're you're a bad person by speaking up about this but no you are stepping into god's calling for you by speaking up by speaking the truth in love in this area and um yeah keep going i, I don't be discouraged i know it's tough sometimes but but continue to speak up for the lives of the unborn Thank you so much for watching, guys. A huge shout out to my patrons on Patreon. It is because of your guys' support that I can continue to make these videos. And if you want to support my ministry, which would be a huge blessing to me, head on over to patreon.com slash daily underscore disciple to help out and support monthly. Um, subscribe to the channel if you're new and give it a nice like <laughs> if you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and I will see you next time. God bless.